everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford, and today we're going to work with uh, Liquify again, and we're going to go over some of the tool options. So let's go ahead and apply our Liquify filter. Whoops, that's uh, the one that I just used. Filter, Liquify, there we go. And we've got the Liquify filter here. I'm going to turn this little thing down, or my brush size down a little bit. And if you want to actually go ahead and uh, click on advanced mode. Now the liquify tool options control the brush tip. Since all the liquify commands are executed with a brush, it's a good idea to understand how you control the brush tip. So when you apply a brush stroke, the faster you drag, the less effect is applied to the image. So if I do that, that's a uh, fast, quick drag, and that's a less effect. Now if I drag slowly, more effect is applied to this image. As you can see, it goes way farther in and everything like that. Okay, so let's go over some of the tool options over here. We've got our brush size, and this can go, now go all the way up to 15,000. Um, in CS5 and below, it went to uh, 1,500 pixels, but now we can go up to 15,000. It's way bigger than uh, my picture, or my picture is actually. All right, so I'm gonna bring this back down to something manageable. And you can change the brush size with the left and right bracket keys for quickness. And as you see, it goes down uh, incrementally by some like algorithm or some mathematical thing that Photoshop figured out. All right, <clears throat> now uh, the next thing that we've got is brush density. And this is in the advanced mode. It's hidden if you don't have it open, so there you go. And you can control how much the brush, brush feathers at the ends. So if I put this all the way down to zero and I start moving stuff, you can see that's what it looks like. And then if I bring it up to the highest, which is 100, this is what it looks like, way more, okay? So put this at 50, we'll just keep it around there somewhere. The next thing is brush pressure. And uh, it determines how quickly the effect uh, is applied to the image when the brush is moving. So when you have a lower value, it slows the effect. So this is at 100% right now. And if I bring this down lower and start moving it, I was just doing it right there and you can see barely anything happened. Let me bring this up higher so we can maybe see something. But uh, there you go. So it lessens the effect when you have it down lower. When you have it up higher, it increases the effect. That's with it at 100. So that's how it works. And then we've got brush rate down here, which is also advanced. And the brush rate, it determines how quickly the liquify effect is applied to the image when the brush is stationary. So I have to go to something like this twirl uh, quackalize tool, and then you can see the brush rate. If I put it all the way up to 100, it's going to spin it fast. And if I put it down to like 17, look how slow it's, it's spinning it very, very slowly. So I'll put that back up to 80-ish around there. We've got stylus pressure here. And if you're using a drawing tablet, that's going to be available to you. But I'm not. I'm using a mouse. So um, you can use pressure to affect the uh, actual liquefying effect. And then we've got reconstruct options. So um, you can reconstruct the image stage by stage if you're using this reconstruct here. Um, right now, let's try to do something here. I'll make that, and then I'll go to my reconstruct, and now I've got the uh, reconstruct the entire image. Or I can click restore all, and it brings it back to its original state. So those are the options I wanted to go over with you in this tutorial. And um, hopefully you guys learned some new things. And it's important to know how your brush works and how you can affect it using these tool options and reconstruct options. So thanks a lot for watching the tutorial. Be sure to check out buckysroom.org for some more awesome tutorials. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a good day.